Let's get you in the loop on updates to stagetimer.io and what's new in version 2.0. I've been enjoying stagetimer.io for a while now to power some events that I freelance on, and this week the web app got a whole new fresh look with some new features as well. The new redesign puts the main controls in one place for easy start, stop, and control of your currently running timer. If you're familiar with the app, you'll also notice some color changes here too. The currently set timer is blue, and it switches to red when it's running. There's also this nice progress bar along the bottom of the page for an overview of the collection of timers you've added. Super nice for long events and maybe like an all-day conference or something. Audible chimes and flashing are now possible with these wrap-up timer actions. This way you can really let your speaker know it's time to wrap up their chit-chatting. I know I could have used this a few times in the past, and probably in the future too. The agenda page has now been reworked and split into two separate pages instead, agenda and moderator. Agenda gives you a list of timers so you can keep track of your event, whereas the moderator page lets you hand over some controls to a moderator. They can't manipulate timers, but they can send messages to the speaker and flash those messages at them. And overall, it's much cleaner and much nicer to use in general. I do know this 2.0 release has been tested for a few weeks now because I've been chatting with the developer about it. However, if any issues pop up, it is good to know there is a previous build ready to use. And you can log into your account to get a link to that. This update is already available and one of the nice things about stagetimer.io is that you can give it a spin for free already. So head over to the site and give it a try. As always, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, consider yourself in the loop on the V2 release of stagetimer.io.